Hey everybody, Mr. Magatosh here and macOS Monterey is here and available for all users to be able to download and install. But one of the biggest questions that I'm hearing from you is that you tested out macOS Monterey beta and want to know how to get from the beta to the final or the public version. Well, I've got two examples on different versions of macOS Monterey and I'm going to show you how to update them from beta to final. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. One of the most important things that we have to understand is, is that when we're moving from a beta to a final version, we have to have a final version available on Apple's servers to be able to update to if we're on a beta version. So I'll use this as an example. Let's say we're on Mac OS Monterey Beta 8 and we didn't install any of the betas after that, like 9, 10, RC1, or RC2, and we want to be able to go to the 12.0.1 final that's available today. But wonder if we're on a future beta version and you want to be able to get to a final version but it's not even out yet now that's gonna be a problem because you have to wait until the final version comes out then you can update it and you'll be able to follow these instructions so right now if you're on a previous version of beta there is a final version out that's newer and we can update directly from beta right to the final version so let me show you how to do that on two different machines let's pull up this first machine here this is a 2018 t2 mac mini that i've been using in some of my videos to show you the differences in the different versions of beta. This Mac mini here is running 21A5552A, which is actually beta 10. So this mini didn't see RC1 or RC2, and we want to be able to get it to the final version. Open up system preferences here and see what's available. Now notice one thing very important here. This Mac is enrolled in the Apple beta software program. This is not developer seat. This is the public beta seat. So what we want to be able to do is remove this Mac from the developer seed or the public seed of beta, then we will see the update that's available to us in software update for the final version. Got two different ways to do that. We can click on details here and click restore defaults. That will set it back to the proper final or public version. So let's type in our password here and we'll give it a second and it'll refresh here. And if it doesn't refresh, all you need to do is close software update and open it back up again. But we all we need to do is give it a second because you can see that it was closed. But we'll close it and we'll reopen it again to make sure that everything's good. And you can see already we have an update available and this is what it should look like. There should be no space down here and it should say that you have an update available for you and this is Mac OS Monterey 1201 final version and all we need to do is click install now. That's updating from a beta version to a final version. Now the second one I wanted to show you is a little bit more confusing because this is on RC2. The release candidate is usually what Apple will make available to beta testers when the operating system is almost ready for launch. So if you look at this, the build version of this is 21A559. So if you're not aware of what that actually is, you can always go to my full and solar database to verify what that is. So when we look at this chart over here and we look at the build version of 12.0.1, we see it's 21A559. When we look at the chart over here, we can see 21A559 is actually in two different places. It's in the final version and it was in RC2. Keep in mind, release candidates can be the final version or there could be another release candidate after if they find something really close at the very end. And that's why they had to have an RC1 and then something was wrong. That's why it was 558. And they came out with 559 to fix that issue right before final launch today. So that's why they did it. This machine's on 559. That means it's ready to go. But there's one more step that we have to make sure that we keep in mind or we're not going to be on the final production track to be able to get updates in the future. We'll open up system preferences here and go into software update and we'll give it a second for it to reload because this machine here is still part of the Apple developer seed. So what that means is, is even though it's on the final version, if a new version comes out in the future and there it goes, it's finally loaded. See, this Mac is enrolled in the developer beta. So when Apple comes out with 12.1 beta, this will show up in here as an update, not a public release of 12.1, which will come later. So you'll click on update thinking 12.1's the 
latest version, but it's not. You're getting another beta. The bottom line is you want it to be on the final version. So again, just like the first step in the other machine, we need to go into the software update details here and click restore to defaults, type in our administrator password, and we are all back to the final track of software updates. And we'll give it a second here and that will disappear and it will look exactly like it should. We can always close software update and reopen it. And there it goes. So again, remember that extra space if we close it out and open it up again. There it is, this is exactly how it should look. And one more thing before we go, I wanted to show you a quick way to be able to add the Apple Seed public seed or the developer seed instead of installing the profile. And this will allow you to go on and off or even check to see if there's a version available. So all we need to do is go to my seed util page here. And this page has all the information that you'll need to know to enter the beta and then also get off and to be able to run different repair functions. If we scroll down here, you can see all the different programs that you can add. The developer seed is usually for developers and system administrators. The customer seed is the same as the developer seed, but it allows you to sometimes download an older update. So for example, when 12.1 beta comes out, some people might want to try a previous version of the beta. And usually the developer seed will be the latest version beta available. So that's why they have the customer seed. And the public seed is usually for all public beta testers, like normal users that wanna just be able to try new operating system, but are not a part of the Apple developer seed program. So each one of these, commands will put you into a different track. And this is the unenroll section that you would use to get out of the beta. And that's exactly what that details section in the restore to defaults, all it does is run the unenroll. And you can also check to see what you're currently in. So for example, if you wanna see what current beta uh, that you're enrolled in, or if you're even enrolled at all, just copy this command, go over the again and paste it in the terminal window, hit enter, and then type in your administrator password. And this will say currently enrolled in null. If you were in developer seed, it would say developer, public seed, and all that. It would say that right there. To get out of it, all you would need to do is click on unenroll right here. Copy this whole command here and that would unenroll. Now, if you're having any problems with the beta, you can always run the seed util fix up command. Make sure that everything's fine with the seed util, the, the P list that you're running the settings in and make sure everything's okay. That's updating your beta Monterey Mac to a final version. I hope this video created value for you. If it did, click on that thumbs up. I really appreciate it or share. And if you wanna see more Mac videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber or a viewer, you know I truly appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.